In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can automatically backup files from your computer over to Google Drive. Now, this is great if you're working across different devices because you can always have your files there. Even if you add or remove a file, Google Drive will automatically back it up. You don't have to do anything. All you need to do is get it set up once. Once it's set up, every file you add and remove will automatically go ahead and get backed up to Google Drive. So I'll show you how you can get that set up now and we'll jump into it. So here we are on my computer, let's jump into it. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to go to Google and just go ahead and do a search for Google Drive download and click on the first one. It should take you to a page which looks something like this. Safely store your files and access them from any device. We can go ahead and download Drive for desktop. So now that's going to download an installation wizard which we can run once it's downloaded. So now we've opened the installation wizard. We can choose whether we want a shortcut, but I'm just going to skip through this and just get it installed so I can show you. Okay, so now we've got it installed. It's going to ask us to sign into Drive. I'm going to click here where it says sign in through your browser. That should open up a new window. I can then choose what account I want to sign in through. I'm gonna choose this one here. It's probably blurred for you, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sign in. And there you go, we've now signed in to Google Drive. We can now close this window and there you go we've successfully installed it so i'm going to go ahead and close that so it gives me a message here saying my storage is almost full that's because i've used a lot of my google drive storage but if you choose a new account you won't have this option so i'm just going to exit out of this and you can see google drive is ready i'm going to click ok so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go down into the taskbar and I should see Google Drive open. If it's not, I can just go to the search bar and just type in Google Drive, and it should open the app as well as a window here. So we've got the app open down here. I'm just gonna right click on it, and then go to the settings icon in the top right, then go to preferences. And what I can do now is I can add a folder that I want to automatically be backed up. So if I go to add folder, it's gonna open up a window here and I can choose a folder. Now for the video, I'll just choose website video docs but you could choose any folder which you want to back up files from so every time you then put in a file in that folder it will automatically back it up so i'm going to select this one here and you can see here sync with google drive i'm going to click done and you can see now we are syncing files from one folder to google drive and if i then go down to my taskbar again i click on google drive you can see I've got some the contents of that folder being backed up. And you can see it's all being synced. So these are all the files which are in that folder and it's synced it here. So if I go ahead and click on the folder and you can see here that here are the contents of that folder. What I'm gonna do now, I'm going to head over to Chrome. I'm then just gonna type in Drive and I'm just going to check that they've been synced. So here I am on Drive. To find my folders, I can go to Computers and you can see my laptop, and now I've got website video docs, and you can see all of my files are here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to copy a file from one folder on my computer, and then I'm going to put it in my, in my file here that should sync, and we'll just see if it does its job. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in a file, and it should now sync this file to Google Drive. So we'll just wait here. I'm just gonna go ahead and open Google Drive, you can see that the upload has queued and it is syncing one file. And there you go, it's now synced it to Google Drive and that's all set up. So I hope that video was helpful. If it was, please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials.